Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Stone, and I'm the host of The Daily Dose, and I would like to welcome you to the next day of your new life. That's right. See, we all have 24 hours in a day. It's the same one. What are you going to do with yours today on this beautiful July 30th, 2019, the year of consistency and the third quarter of the Triple Threat Family, Career, and Fitness? And y'all know it's Turn Up Tuesday, so we got to get a... Get lit in the Joe's house. Turn up and get lit in the Joe's house. And I'm feeling good because some of your friends, family members, co-workers, chickens, pets, ducks, dogs. I even saw the Dr. Pimple Popper needed to give somebody an antidote yesterday. But in order for everybody to go ahead and get their antidote, I need all my loyal dosers, all the people that come every single day. You guys right here on the screen right now. I need y'all to do my favorite thing in the whole wide world on the count of three, and that's one, two, three. Hulk smash that share button, baby. Smash it right now, smash it, uppercut it, hook it, and just knock it out the park because today's topic is gonna be fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Hey, the roof, the roof. All right, I, no, this roof better not be on fire because this, this house wasn't cheap, so I can't, I can't afford for nothing to burn down in this house. I'm just, just saying. <laughs> Oh man, what's going on y'all? It's turned up Tuesday. Did y'all hit the share button yet? Make sure y'all do that. Well, let me tell you why I'm so excited. Y'all know the deal. Yesterday, I finished day eight of hashtag 75 art. I'm just here to tell y'all, this is not easy by any means. It's called, it's called 75 hard for a reason, man. This is not easy at all. Uh, but you know, I, I got everything in. There's there's my progress picture. Man, the sweat was dripping. The dad body starting to go away. I'm starting to get a little side abs over there. They starting to pop through. I'm getting excited a little bit. But you see the indoor 45-minute workout, the outdoor yoga on the patio. There's all my healthy meals for the day. There's my book. And I drank all my gallon of water. I actually drink more than a gallon of water, but you know, I just, I, I show that picture right there. But then, you know, this morning I had to get it off going right again, baby, because I am not starting over. Let me tell you, it's some people in the group that have started over. I ain't judging y'all. I promise you, I love y'all to death. I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to support you. I'm going to be that side by side with you, but I am not starting this challenge over. To, to, it's going to end up being more than 75 days if you start over. I mm -mm, Nope, not on duty. Nope. Anyway, this morning, there you go. You see my stats right there. Today was a low impact ride because if I'm going to be working out every day, you got to be smart with it. You can't go 110 miles per hour every day. I didn't win 110 miles per hour and I didn't crash into a tree before. And when you crash and burn, it is not nothing good. So today I took a low impact ride. Still good. 45 minutes, burned 100, 541 calories, so I still got it in. But today I got, I did something different. See, I'm about to shock y'all, about to throw y'all off. Check it out. I took a page of my homegirl, Carrie Lynn Carter. She's part of my accountability group and hashtag 75 hard. And what she does for her outdoor workout is she goes for a walk. She throws her headphones in and she listens to motivation and personal development and stuff. And you know, I've been doing yoga for my outdoor body. You know, I said I'm going to switch it up today because today's topic is about getting outside your comfort zone. So I did something different. I went for a walk. And let me tell you, man, the sky was beautiful this morning. I get you. Let me tell you, that five o'clock walk for 45 minutes, you just see the sky get to change so much in that 40. I think the sky changes so much at five o'clock in the morning from 5 to 6 a.m. I mean, let me tell you, when I first got out there, it was pitch black dark. I was looking at the stars, and I was like, oh my gosh, the sky is so beautiful. This is serene. I was tapping into my inner self. Y'all know I'm a cancer. Y'all know I'm sensitive. But then, you know, I looked, I said, oh, snap, look at the moon. This was like an eighth of a moon. Y'all know how you see like a half moon sometime, a full moon. Like, it was an eighth of the moon. I was like, look at the little, look at the little small, tiny thing. I don't know. I was, I was just in my, I was just in my zone. I was in my jam. I was I was vibing this morning with just me, myself, and I in the sky, and it, it was just looking beautiful. But oh well, uh, it was me getting outside of my comfort zone. In case some of y'all came a little bit fashionably late, which I know some of y'all do, because y'all still be having a crust in your eye, and y'all still be hitting that snooze button all that time. I saw you creeping in. I saw Leanne Ryan Smith hold it though. Lyric, tell him what to do. Hulk smash the shit. That's right. Hulk smash that share button and beast it up with a title, baby. Make that share juicy. We got to grow this dose house to capacity. We got to get a whole lot of people up in here, y'all. But today's topic is going to be based off of inspiration, which is the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Now, today's topic is hopefully going to speak volume. Now, here's the deal. Today's dose is going to be a little bit different. 
I'm just putting it out there right now. I know it's Turn Up Tuesday, but I know it's one person. Today, I'm talking to one person. I don't know who that one person is, but I'm talking to you. This dose is for you. Today, we are going to talk about uh, getting outside the comfort zone. I know you guys hear it all the time. You hear it on the internet. Gary V, uh, <laughs> uh, me, Glenn Lundy, Sean Hayes, Eric Thomas, anybody who you follow that's of any significance, always telling you to get outside your comfort zone. Check out this picture. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Look, some of y'all saw this picture and y'all was like, nope, ain't no way. Nope, nope, mm -mm. I ain't cliff diving. I ain't base jumping. I ain't doing none of that. This person on this picture is stupid. Why are they doing that? It's, they, they crazy. I know. I just trust me. I know. I, I know the way people think. I have conversations with human beings every single day. I got another picture. If it scares you, it might be a good thing to try. You ever thought about that? I know some of y'all like, yeah, Marcus, I get it. But, you know, you be doing some crazy stuff. I saw your skydiving stuff. I, I see the stuff you're into, Marcus. It's crazy. I'm telling you, some of the most exhilarating things has always came from coloring outside the box. See, y'all thought that little crazy kid when y'all was in school and he was just Y'all stand in between the lines being all nice and neat, trying to get it shaded all perfect and everything. And it was always that one kid that was outside and just doing his own thing. And everybody thought he was crazy. And that dude grew up to be Michelangelo. Do you think if Michelangelo would have stayed inside the lines that he would be Michelangelo and admired the person that he is today? Think about that for a second. Today, we're going to talk about coloring outside the lines. Let's get into the antidote. The antidote is a medicine taken a given to counteract a particular poison. Now, Marcus, it's 6.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone. The dose house is starting to get filled to capacity with people who want that antidote. I think it's time to refill some prescriptions. Hit them with the antidote. Okay, Ryan, I know you're at work watching this. <laughs> I know you like being in your comfort zone. But today, I need you to pay extra close attention because next month is coming up, girl. Y'all don't know she's one of my employees. She's a fantastic person. She's doing great things. She's new to the business. And uh, I'm trying to help develop her into a phenomenal person. But I need her to color outside the lines. And so I'm going to give you three tips today, Kara. This dose may just be for you that is going to help you to color outside the lines. And tip number one is you got to realize that it helps you push beyond your boundaries. See, these things that we set up for ourselves mentally, these mental roadblocks, these mental barriers, these mental mountains, understand that we create them ourselves. They're, they are figments of our imagination. We put these things in places based off of experiences, like you told me yesterday that I'm not going to put your personal business out there, but we put these things in places, these roadblocks, and you got to understand, when we come to these roadblocks, there's three things that we got to do. We got to either A, we got to go around around that roadblock, we got to go B, we got to go above that roadblock, or C, sometimes we got to Hulk smash through that roadblock because there's nothing that realistically stands in between you and accomplishing your goals. See, you're right here. Your goal is right here. It's always accomplishable. If you think it, you can achieve it. You just got to figure out the, the how. See, you, you always think about the what, the why, and the how. The how is the big part, right? We all get passionate. We all have this uh, figurative imagination. We all dream big. We all know that we want to accomplish amazing things that's that's really easy we got the what down pack the why you know we become passionate you know there's a lot of experiences that we experience in our life that lead us to that destination and say this is what i want to accomplish your heart starts getting warm your body starts getting warm you're like man i really really want to do this but a lot of people don't really focus on the how because people tell you what you need to do but they don't tell you how you need to do it and understand when you get past these roadblocks when you when you're getting through it it gets a little tough you ever seen that that uh read that book three feet from gold i haven't read it yet but i heard about it and i plan on putting it on my to-do list but but just think about this for a second just think about mining and mining you know when people mine they just dig and dig and dig and they go hard and sometimes they go so hard it gets so tough that they want to give up and little do they know success is right on the other side of failure. I mean, you're inches away from it. I'm pretty sure y'all seen that picture where the dude is like digging through the tunnel for diamonds and the dude on the top, he just starts walking away and he's like this close to seeing the diamonds on the other side. And the one dude that kept going on the bottom ends up getting the diamonds. Realize these boundaries that you set up mentally for yourself, they can be eliminated, but it takes a lot of mental discipline. It takes a lot of hard work and it takes for you to color outside the lines. Let's get to number two. It helps you to think creatively and exercise your brain. Now, 
this comfort zone thing that a lot of you guys have been doing your entire life. That's the reason that you do it, because it's easy. And that's the reason why a lot of people do it. We talk about the minority and we talk about the majority. Why is there only a small percentage of people at the top? Why do they even say it, the top five percenters? Why do we have a Fortune 500, a Fortune 100, a Fortune 50? Because only the elite people, the only people that's figured it out, the only people that's practiced the discipline, the only people that's done the hard stuff, and they've they done it over and over consistently, get to see the big picture and understand that it's through repetition and exercise Size that you accomplish this. See, this hashtag 75 hard is doing something to me. See, it's making me get out of my comfort zone. It's making me do something that I've never done before. I'm practicing this discipline because I'm being, I'm becoming more consistent at things. When you do something 100%, not 99, there, see, there's a difference. See, the difference between 99 and 100 is just a little bit more. The difference between try and triumph is just a little bit more umph. And that's what a lot of people are actually missing in their life sometimes. See, they're missing a little bit more. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Let me say it one more time for the people in the back. The difference between try and triumph is just a little bit of umph. It's just a little bit more than what you're currently doing right now. See, so many people, when you focus on these big goals, you forget about the tiny goals that you must take in order to accomplish those big goals. So that way, it doesn't seem as hard. And one day you'll look up and you say, bam, I accomplished my goal. But if you're not exercising it on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, on a minute basis, on a second basis, then you'll never get there. Am I making sense to anybody in the room? Again, this dose is for one person. I love all my loyal dosers, but this dose ain't for you. There's one person that needs to hear this message, and I'm talking to you, and I'm hoping that you receive it. Number three, it helps you to experience new things. I will tell you, every time I've embarked on a new journey, it's been an amazing time in my life. There's several times that I can remember doing some amazing things, and it never, ever, ever came for me being comfortable. It scared the living crap out of me. You guys saw my birthday was last week. What did I do? I jumped out of a plane and I'm here to tell you live and direct, face to face with you and your mobile device that it was one of the most amazing feelings in my entire life. I'm pretty sure you guys believe me, but there's still, like I said, this dose ain't for everybody. There's people out there, Marcus, I'm not jumping out of a plane. I don't want you to. That's my thing, that's my jam. What I'm encouraging you to do is to find your thing and to find your jam. Find something that scares you. I don't know. You might want to go to a bottomless snake pit. I don't think any doser want to do that. You might want to go uh, cage diving with the sharks. Shark week coming up, anybody? I don't know. Whatever your jam is, that's what I want you to do. At first thought, whatever you're thinking should scare you. Here's the deal. When I talked to Kara, we had a little conversation and we talked about goals. See, prior to that, she had a goal and she was like, man, if I can accomplish this goal, it'll be fantastic. It's something that I never did. And I say, bam, she accomplished her goal yesterday. And I said, high five. Next month, we're going to go here with it. See, right now you're here with it. And the next month, we're going to go here with it. And it scared the living crap out of her. You want to know how? Because I can understand people's body language and tonality. I'm just telling you, the inside of her turned completely white. She was like, okay, this, this, um, I, Marcus, I just, I mean, this was crazy enough. And now you're trying to get me to go crazy? And, and I said, what are you thinking right now? She said, you know what? What I'm really thinking is I'm going to end up failing. And then I'm going to be like, gosh, this is so stupid. Why did I even shoot for this whole thing? And I said, you got to change your perspective. And you got to look at it like this. In case you go ahead and shoot for the moon and you end up not failing, you still land in the clouds. And that's still above what you're doing right now. Am I making a little bit of sense? You have to change your perspective. Am I speaking French to somebody out there? Or can I get a hallelujah? I know somebody's feeling me on that. And when you experience new things, it becomes amazing. Here's the deal. I tell you guys all the time, you were not born to be average. You were not born to be mediocre. You were not born to be somewhere in the middle. I don't know that song, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You were born to be way up here. The only problem is you got to work just a little bit harder for it. Are you guys willing to work just a little bit harder than what you're currently doing? I'm not asking you to go like super astronomical crazy. You just got to go just a little bit harder. Because when you consistently go a little bit harder, that needle starts moving. You go from like, like here's the goal, here's you right now. When you start working just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit harder consistently every single day, one day you will look up and say, bam, I got an eight pack. I mean, that's, y'all know I jump out the window sometimes. I'm just, I'm working on it. Come on now, don't, don't judge me. I'm in my zone right now. Don't judge me. <laughs> 
Think outside the crayon box, yo. Color outside. Go crazy on that thing. It feels exciting. You know, your comfort zone is boring. It's repetitive. It's tedious. You do the same thing all the time. You just, it's way too easy. Challenge yourself. Motivate yourself. Push yourself. Jump out the freaking window. I urge you. It's amazing. It's amazing. Like, I'm telling you, like, face to face. Y'all trust me. Y'all believe me. Y'all come here every single day. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and get out and <laughs> let's go down and get outside the lines checklist. Number one, push beyond your boundaries. These mental roadblocks that you set up for yourself is hurting you. It's detrimental to your life. It's detrimental to your career. It's detrimental to your family. It does nothing good for you. Take a stick of dynamite, TNT, Yosemite salmon, and blow them barriers up, baby. Number two, think creatively and exercise your brain. Exercise is repetition over and over and over. Some of you guys are doing the same things over and over and over and not getting any results, not making any progress, not, not accomplishing anything. If you're going to do something over and over and over, make sure you progress in it. And last but not least, number three, experience new things. Travel to a different state, heck. I mean, if you, have you even left the city that you live in? Have you left the state that you live in? Have you tried leaving the country? Have you tried experiencing life? Life is amazing outside your comfort zone. I truly, truly, truly hope you find it. You know what? Shameless plug. If you guys want to check out some swag, you like my clothes, you go get, go to the dough store, the dailydoughstore.com, and go ahead and get you some merch. I got hats, I got bags, I got shirts, I got the whole kit and caboodle, and it ain't going to cost you an arm and a leg. I'm just saying. I can't give it away for free like Glenn Lundy because I ain't made it yet. But uh, <laughs> head on over to the YouTube channel if you always want to catch the dose out. If you don't catch it live and you want to replay and you want to skip past all the shout outs, I'm going to do you a big favor. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going uh, to paste the YouTube link in the comments section. Section. And all you got to do is click it, hit the subscribe button, and then bang your notification bell with your Thor hammer so you can always catch it. But the best way to catch me is live. Y'all know the deal. 6.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. You guys know live is the best way to catch me. Make sure you hit the three dots under the like button. Hit the following button. Hit C first so you can always get a notification of when I go live. See, what happens when you do that is you guys sometimes maybe refresh the feed. You just keep going until you see my name pop up. See, when you hit those three dots underneath the like button and then you hit that following button and you hit C first and then there's a notification thing and you see C all, it always shoots you. Bam. Or if you, you hop into it and then the first thing it says is get notified when markets go live. Turn that thing on so you can always get your antidote, baby. We got pills to pop around here. We got shots to take. We got syringe needles to inject but it's all with positivity inspiration motivation and education so go and get your antidote on a daily basis motivation doesn't last forever that's why you need it every day check out hey outro. what's going on guys thank you so much for tuning in to the daily dose i hope you got your antidote today your daily dose of positivity inspiration and motivation check me out every monday through friday 6 30 a.m eastern time zone on facebook live and don't forget to hulk smash that share button all right, I just pasted a YouTube comment and YouTube link in the comment section. So as soon as this video is over, if you can click it and then head on over and hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. I do what I do from the heart and I don't expect nothing in return. I'm a kid from the south side of Chicago that's here to make my family smile and inspire the world at the same time. Y'all have a fantastic Turned Up Tuesday. Peace.